have the friends it's Anna here welcome in my next video uh, today I am creating a layout for my hip kit club it's mixed media Monday so I will be using some some mixed media techniques and I am working with August kids uh, I really really love those kids they are filled with willow line collection by uh, crate paper and I am going to use stamps from this collection uh, as you can see they were already already used uh, and I used black uh, ink to stamp with them that's why they have this dark color and today I will play with embossing and using white embossing ink over uh, the cardstock and then I will create this kind of um, ink resist effect uh, with uh, with the blue ink uh, distress oxide uh, Peacock's feather, I think the color was, uh, both the um, embossing powder and the ink I will be using later were included in some previous color add-on kits, uh, I think like maybe uh, half a year ago or a little bit more, I'm, I'm thinking it was included in some of the winter uh, kits, I'm not sure but I think it was a winter kit. Mm, I am stamping uh, all over my background using embossing ink because with embossing powder you need to have a sticky ink so the, um, the powder will stick into the surface and I am working with this uh, thick cardstock uh, marshmallow basil cardstock it was included into the color uh, cardstock add-on kit and I really like working with this cardstock because it's made for mixed media that's why it's heavy um, but to be honest it doesn't cooperate that well with water so it's good for when it's covered with gesso but not that good when you want to use watercolors on it because it soaks the watercolors constantly and you can't have any washes and color mixing anything like that so as you can see i am uh, stamping all over the background using different uh, stamps the bigger one the smaller ones the gaps uh, between the uh, bigger ones and uh, i am using uh, this um tim holtz tool it's um Oh my god, I forgot the name, sorry, it's so late uh, when I'm recording this and <laughs> my brain kind of shut up, uh, shut out, not shut up, <laughs> but I really should shut up. Uh, so uh, I am using this tool, it has this uh, sponge uh, at the one end and I am gently dabbing it into the... Um, Peacock's Feather, uh, a Distress Oxide ink. It's a Distress Oxide ink, not regular Distress ink. Remember that because we will be using this oxidation uh, after uh, we finish covering the whole surface with the ink. And uh, I'm trying to create kind of a smooth color with without any darker parts, um, but it won't cover my background uh, entirely in the same shade. Uh, some areas will be a little bit more pressed uh, and some areas will be a little less pressed. As you can see, the pattern is coming out very pretty. And now I'm cleaning the um, embossing uh, um, from the ink uh, and I am ready for the next part which will be adding water because with Distress Oxide inks you can create a new shade of color by activating it with water it's time to it starts kind of oxidate when you add water to this color and it creates different shades of the same color and as you can see I am using just a clean water and um, mister but I'm not misting all over the surface I'm misting on my hand creating those big splatters uh, I could use this straw tube from inside the mister but it won't create that big um, splatters as I wanted so I I kind of created uh, my mixed media background and now it's time to make a composition I am using a piece of white cardstock uh, that will be a background for my pictures I don't want to cover my 
mixed media background because it would be <laughs> pointless to create one but i also want my pictures to just um, i would say stand out and i love those uh, transparent stickers from willow lane collection and uh, I want to use them all on one page. I know I'm not that transparent person, I would say, because um, I create colorful projects and transparent stickers have a rough time to stand out. That's why uh, whenever I can, I try to use as much as possible uh, because I know I won't be going back to them uh, soon. That's why uh, I am trying to cover the whole uh, piece of white paper using those stickers and I will succeed. I will be able to throw away this um, sheet and this is something that makes me happy. I know that some of you uh, think it's a sad moment to finish um, to finish the uh, packaging of some favorite uh, embellishments because you will no longer have it and uh, I'm not like that. I'm happy when I finish something because it means it was money well spent and uh, yeah I, I, I did a good, good use of, of the embellishment and it means that I really like them. Uh, I have two pictures of me and, and my daughter Maya. She's cuddling with me and I really cherish those moments. She's so, you know, cuddler. My older daughter wasn't cuddler at all. She didn't like to cuddle. She, you know, she was this independent <laughs> child. And this one is really a sweetheart when it comes to uh, culling and I can't have enough of it. Uh, and I'm trying to, uh, you know, <laughs> get as much as possible because I know that those times will pass soon. She's already five years old, so not the longest uh, time for me to uh, have a little baby at home. She will... She will go to school in um, in two years. So the, I would say those are last <laughs> two years of me as a mom of a small child because I'm no longer planning having more kids. Um, so I'm trying to get as much as I can from this cuddling and, you know, <laughs> being effective time. Uh, as you can see, I added a title to my layout. I took word always from the chipboard uh, sticker sheet. It was included uh, in embellishment kit. And this is my favorite, favorite uh, embellishment of all Crate Papers collection. And I also added the second part of the title. It will be always in my heart. And uh, heart is created with... Uh, uh, thickers included into the one of the kids. I think it was in the main kit and um, And now I'm trying to embellish the area. I'm I I Decided that I'm going to keep this limited um, Color palette. So I'm using blue and turquoise turquoise mostly and I'm using some ephemera pieces from the main kit to create kind of a background so as you can see I didn't use pattern paper oh no I did use pattern paper sorry <laughs> I was going to lie to you because I fussy cutted the butterflies from one of the papers I did it for my previous page and I have some of the butterflies left that's why I thought that I will use them uh, here uh, I'm using for the butterflies I'm, I'm looking for the butterflies in matching colors mm, and I'm also adding the stickers from the same collection I love the hip kits because they usually carry many elements from the same collections and it's so easy to work uh, with the kids when you have uh, you know all the range of the embellishments from similar collections um, you don't have to be worried that you won't be able to fit and uh, mix and match elements. And now I'm fussy cutting the butterfly. This is what I said previously. Sorry, I'm jumping from one uh, subject to another. It's late and <laughs> and okay, I will not explain myself. <laughs> I'm hope I am hoping you will stay longer with me. Mm, I am cutting more butterflies and I'm thinking why I didn't cut this part of the video because it's 
part of the boring, scrappy thing. Uh, but to be honest, I like fussy cutting. I like to watch my favorite uh, movie or TV series and fussy cut. And I do it every time when I do not have mojo. I just take a paper, fussy cut a lot of elements. And usually after they are all done, Mojo comes to me and I have the idea for the page. So I don't want to waste time for doing nothing. That's why I always think that fussy cutting will be a good start for the next project. I glued things down and now I am embellishing my page with some tiny bits and pieces that are included into the kit. I have those leather bows from Amy Tangerine. I also have those tiny cute puffy hearts from Amy Tangerine's new collection. It will be shine on, I think. It's a shine on, let me check it. Okay, I didn't find the name, but uh, my layout is ready and this is how it looks like. Uh, here are a few close-ups. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check the description box for the links. And you can subscribe to my channel if you like my videos, even the chaotic ones like today. Uh, thank you for watching and bye-bye.